Here's Sky. Sky's the Doberman that came in the clinic today. As you can see, and Sky has a deformed nose and upper jaw. It's much shorter than the lower jaw and it actually rests right on the tongue and it causes him to breathe really hard. Around his nose, he's breathing hard and his nose is squished. You can see that um, his upper jaw is much shorter than his lower jaw. He's quite comfortable on the clinic floor. And he's got his other buddies with him too. And they're just, we're all just hanging out together. Because of his breathing, you might think that Sky's suffering. But his nose is a little tweaked, his passages don't quite line up, and his breathing's a little harsh. But he runs on the ranch and has uh, lots of fun with his buddies that you saw. So, well, this guy was probably born with this. He's got a, you can tell his uh, upper jaw is much shorter than the lower jaw. And see how much shorter? Wow. And um, what happens is, I, th I thought maybe it was a cleft palate, so I looked inside, and I don't see, cleft palate would be a hole in the top of the, uh, be a hole in the top of the palate, or the palate, the hard palate right there. Now you can see he, you can hear he has, still has breathing problems back in there. If I move his tongue, he can breathe easier. But with his, with his face being shortened like this up top, he's more like a, he's more like a pug than he is a Doberman. A Doberman. <laughs> Are you a pug now? You lay down, Sky. Yeah, it's tiring to be in the back. <laughs> it's tiring. I'm sorry to bother you. But anyway, I just want to show you, he's so lovable. And um, he's also got, yeah, he wants me to scratch him. He's also got something that's really common, too. Uh, people always write me about uh, a peanut. You can see, well, you, you could see a minute ago this. There's a greenish discharge on the penis right there and that's normal. In fact, if I was really gross, I could say it looks like guacamole, but I'm not going to say that. So Sky has a, has, is deformed, he has a, uh, the nose, the, the, the nasal passages are probably restricted and the back of the throat is probably restricted because the nose is so short like a pug. He has a little bit like a, a, a goat shaped head. Usually the nose would come off in this in this area, but it comes off much lower. And if you if you it makes more nose out, you can tell this nose, this side of his passage is smaller than this side, and there could be that that could be opened up a little bit. Because if I if I if I close that side off, he he it doesn't make as much noise. You hear that? Yeah. So he makes more noise out this side. So if he gets neutered, which we might do, uh, of course, he, he, that's what, neutering is when we remove these, the testicles, um, shiny testicles. Um, if, and there's a good shot of the guacamole. <laughs> that's a normal penis discharge. Okay. Neutering will help some dogs be better citizens, it helps against humping, some aggression, and running off when they smell a female in heat, and also it helps them not get prostate cancer quite as much. But there are some thoughts these days that working dogs, um, having the testicles, may help them develop really strong muscles and joints. So a lot of trainers and breeders that I know keep their working dogs uh, non-neutered for a year. So. That's it, some, some new thoughts out there. So anyway, this is Sky just having a, kicking it in, in, in our exam room. You can tell he's really bothered about this, this whole thing. I hope you got the gist of what I was trying to demonstrate, that Sky is a wonderful little dog, that's Doberman. And he was born with a very much shortened upper jaw and 
the nasal passages that are in his upper jaw are shortened and constricted so he has trouble breathing out of that left side and also the back of his throat's kind of bunched up in there and makes him wheeze but the owner says he runs around and just has a great time even though I didn't show you on the on the video but he's actually also got one hip joint that's broken and he can't really move on that hip very well so he's lame on on his uh, left one well, I'm sorry his right rear leg but even with the nose like it is and the leg broken um, I was so proud of the owner for giving him a chance and had a great life and uh, and so he can hang out with his buddies in fact the owner adopted all three of those dogs you saw on the floor and uh, so he's gonna have some friends to he has a lot of friends to play with and he, uh, he's having a great time so thought you'd enjoy seeing that video um, check out the website dog dish diet uh, dog dish diets a book about feeding dogs better by choosing better kibble better ingredients in kibbles and canned foods you can also feed raw food um, feed your pet to avoid the vets a book about home cooking for your dogs and your cats anyway have a great day hope you enjoyed the video and I was gone for a week or so so I'm planning to be I've got more coming up